The difference of two squares is a super common factoring pattern. It shows up all over the SAT. The basic idea is that when you have one perfect square minus another, you can rewrite it as the square root of the first thing plus the square root of the second thing times the square root of the first thing minus the square root of the second thing. So for example, if you had like x squared minus 100, square root of x squared is x, square root of 100 is 10, so it would be x plus 10, x minus 10. In this question here, we've got x squared minus 1. Square root of x squared is x, square root of 1 is 1, so we can rewrite that as x plus 1, x minus 1. The rest of the equation is the same. Now we can cancel out the x minus 1's. You get x plus 1 equals negative 2. Subtract 1 from both sides. You get x equals negative 3. Here's another example of the difference of two squares. The square root of 4x squared is just 2x. The square root of 9 is just 3. So we've got 2x plus 3, 2x minus 3. I said what could be the value of p, so it's just 2. This one's asking, which of the following is an equivalent form of the equation y equals x squared minus a? Well, using this difference of two squares pattern, the square root of x squared is x. The square root of a is root a. So even though it looks a little different than the others, it still works. Here's another difference of two squares problem. The tip off here is that it says x minus k, x plus k. So you know that this is really the same thing as one third times x squared minus k squared. And that looks pretty similar to this, but you notice that the one-third doesn't apply to the negative 2, whereas it does apply to this whole thing. So we're going to have to rewrite this. Instead of x squared minus 2, we're going to do x squared minus 6. And then if you were to distribute it all out, you'd get back to that same thing. So now looking at it, you can see everything's the same except where this one has a k squared, the other one has a 6, that must mean that k is the square root of 6. In this one, you can see that this is the difference of two squares, and these are sort of its pieces. u squared minus t squared is the same thing as u plus t times u minus t. So really what this thing is, is we have a u minus t out in front, and then a u plus t and another u minus t. And then they give you the values for each of these things. So u plus t is 5, u minus t is 2, so this whole thing just comes out to 2 times 5 times 2, which is just 20. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find more content on TikTok and Instagram. And if you're trying to improve your math scores on the SAT or the ACT, you should definitely try out mathchops.com. It has all the most common questions, and it picks the best ones for you to practice based on your previous answers.